Would you like to be able to use two controllers for a single player game? In this case I'm using the left controller to move the character and the right controller to move the camera and the trigger. There's many reasons why you might want to do this. One is because you have mobility issues. The second one is, let's say, for example, I, in my case, I play with my nephew and uh, he's not very good at moving the character and the camera at the same time, so I move the camera with my controller and he moves the character and that way it makes it a little bit easier to play. And yeah, so I'm gonna detail in this video how to do this. It's gonna be done with a software called Rewast. It's not a free software, but it costs like, you know, seven bucks for the simplest license, so I'm not affiliated with them. It's just the only one that I found that works. I've tried also some open source versions that, that did not work for me and skip to the end of the video if you wanna see that. All right, so the first time you open Rewast, works really well, but it's just very unintuitive UI. You select one of the controllers. If you don't know which one is which, you can use the vibrate, which will make one of them vibrate and you know which one this refers to. Let's say this one is the one on my left and I'm gonna click on group. I'm gonna select the other controller and I'm gonna select save here. I'm gonna save this. And this is the group now. I will click on Xbox 360 because that's what I want to emulate. And in this case, I have one gamepad. I clicked on the wizard wand here and it auto-populated everything. And this I've already configured it before. So basically I'm muting here the right stick that my nephew uses so he doesn't, you know, move it accidentally. So if he's just gonna move the character and shoot and jump and all that, but he's not gonna do anything related to the camera. And for me, so basically, initially I had everything disabled and muted except for the right stick. But then if there's like a boss or something and I wanna take over because it's too difficult for him, it just keeps getting killed. Then I have everything enabled. So I just clicked on the wizard and that's it. And once you're done with this and you like it and you think it's nice, then you click on apply slot. And then next, what you can do is actually test if this works. And how do we test it? Well, there's a website called Gamepad Tester. And normally when you do this and you start moving your controllers, you will start to see it as two separate ones. But if the virtual controller has been done correctly, then say I'm moving the left stick on my left controller and then the right stick on my right controller, or now I'm moving the right stick in the left controller, it doesn't move. Buttons work, the buttons on my right controller work as well. The triggers, everything. So essentially, it acts as one virtual gamepad. And once you have tested it, you can just load up the game and, and play as if you had one controller. And that's pretty much it. So every time you open up um, you reset or something like that. You just have to, you open up the software and you click on apply to slot one. If you aren't sure, you test it. And if it works in the test, then it should be fine. Some people might say, hey, why are you using and promoting paid software? Why don't you use open source stuff? I tried, I really, I really did try. I tried with X output which by the way, doesn't work with my 360 controller, but I have two 8-bit do controllers that are here. If I, you know, move one, it gets highlighted. So it gets detected. And then I created here some settings. When I use the gamepad tester, I get three. I have only two connected, but somehow it's getting each individual one. It's my other controller. And then here it's getting both. So it's like, um, it's very strange. So even if I hide them with hit hide, it still just doesn't work. It detects three of them and then their game acts erratically. So if you have a way to work it with X output, I'd love to hear it in the comments to let me know where I'm going wrong. I, you know, I tried many times. I didn't, you know, configure it again because I know it just doesn't really work. So. All right, I hope this was useful. And uh, yeah, take care. This should be pretty similar to the Xbox Copilot feature. 
And um, that's it. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.